If you think that your divorce from a narcissist is going to be like every other divorce, then this video is for you. Because a divorce from a narcissist is completely different from any other divorce. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the top three reasons why. But first, please subscribe to my channel. That's how this information is going to get in front of more of the people who really need to hear it. I'm Victoria McCooey. I'm a narcissist divorce coach, a motivational speaker, and the creator of the Reclaim Your Power system. I help people every day who are right where you are, stuck in a toxic marriage to an abusive spouse, or already engaged in a contentious divorce from one. And I help them reclaim their power so that they can move on and find the courage and the strength and the stamina to leave a narcissistic partner and to go on and create a happy new life that's joyful and drama free. Okay, so here are the top three reasons why divorce from a narcissist is different from any other divorce. Number one, narcissists have no sense of fairness. In a normal divorce, and what I mean by normal is where there are two non-disordered people, two mature, reasonable, rational people. In that kind of divorce, people have a sense of fairness. I mean, that that's what a typical person has as a moral compass, right? So you can appeal to a person's sense of fairness, no matter how angry you might be at the person you're divorcing. No matter what happened in the marriage, what the thing was that drove you to this point, you still have a sense of what's fair and what's not. You're, you're not trying to annihilate the other person. You have enough self-esteem that, that you know you're going to be fine. You know it's right to move on, and you have a sense of fairness about what's the right amount of time for each of you to have with the kids, what's the right amount of money to be paid to the other person or for you to receive, what's the right way to split up the assets, all the things that you have to decide in a divorce. So two normal people will have a sense of fairness, but not a narcissist. When you go to a narcissist and try to uh, appeal to their sense of fairness or tell them that something doesn't seem right to you, not fair, or is hurtful to you, they're only going to do more of it. It's, it's completely backwards from a normal person. They want to hurt you. Because you see, what the narcissist fears most in life is abandonment. Somewhere in their childhood, they felt abandoned by a parent or an adult role model. Someone in their life abandoned them, either physically abandoned them, emotionally abandoned them, financially abandoned them, whatever it is, they felt abandoned. And this is what they fear most, this happening to them again. So when they are in a divorce, you're the one leaving them, even if they left you first even if they initiate the divorce, even if they are already off with a new partner, even if they called you horrible names, told you they couldn't stand the sight of you, uh, abandoned you, it doesn't matter. You going through with this divorce is abandonment in their injured soul. So they must retaliate for your inflicting this horrific, worst imaginable injury on them. So at any cost, their goal is to hurt you. The second reason that a divorce from a narcissist is different from any other divorce is that normal people can put their children's needs before their own, but not a narcissist. The narcissist can't put anyone else's needs or best interests ahead of their own, not even their own children's. So the narcissist will use their own children as pawns to hurt you, to retaliate against you, because remember, that's their goal, to hurt you for inflicting this terrible injury to them. So all bets are off. They will do any and everything, including hurting or damaging their own children in the process because after all they see the children only as 
extensions of themselves as their possessions, there to do whatever they need to be done um, with no worry about what it does to the children, because that doesn't matter as long as it serves their needs. In this case, to hurt you. So you're asking, how can anyone, even a narcissist, put their own children in the line of fire, throw their own children to the wolves? Rem remember, they have no empathy. They can't imagine what it feels like to be in someone else's shoes. They can't imagine what damage they're doing to their children, nor would they care even if they could, but they really can't. They can't feel what somebody else might be feeling. And finally, the third reason a divorce from a narcissist is not like any other divorce is that they love the drama. They live for this stuff. Conflict, bring it on. Contention, more please. Like they can't get enough of this. They love the, the yelling, the arguing, the abrasive emails, the court battles, the all the drama, all the players. Uh, they feel like the master puppeteer making all these different people think different things. It just feeds their ego. They love this and they don't ever want it to end. They want this to go on and on because they're, they're, uh, it's a show and they're the star, they think. So yeah, they want this to continue as long as possible. They have no incentive for ending it. And that is why it's so hard to get a narcissist to settle. It usually takes the power of the court, you know, the threat of court sanctions for them to finally do anything that they're supposed to do, turn over documents or pay child support or leave the house or whatever, anything. They will, they'll dig their heels in. They'll fight on every single point. Um, I, I'm laughing. I know this doesn't seem funny to you. It seems comical to me because I did this. I lived this whole thing. I know you don't want to hear this, but my divorce from a, a very narcissistic spouse took six years because no one could hold him accountable. He just prolonged it as long as he possibly could until finally, finally, a court said, enough, this has to end. Uh, but that's one of the reasons I do what I do. I don't want anyone to have to go through what I went through. It should never take that long. So, you know, I'm on a mission to help people figure out how to get this to come to a conclusion much sooner than it would otherwise. So if that's you, if you're stuck in a toxic marriage to a controlling, abusive, narcissistic spouse, or if you're already engaged in a divorce from one, then you can reach out to me and I will help in any way I can. Um, I'll put a link in the description below where you can book a free session with me. Uh, we'll get on the phone, we'll chat, you'll tell me what's going on, and I will give you my best advice for options you might have for moving forward. Um, and then if you're interested in learning more about how I work with my clients, you can ask me and I will tell you what my programs look like. So I hope you'll take advantage of this and hop on a free call with me. If you found this video helpful, would you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I've linked a couple of other videos here that I think you might also like. So I hope to see you in the next video.